guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making red beans and cornbread. I'm going to start by taking a green bell pepper and cutting it in half and removing the seeds from the middle. Or I'm just going to throw seeds all over my board and clean those up first. I find it easier if you screw up like I did to take a spoon and scoop out the middle pieces that you don't want. Now I'm going to take my pepper and cut it into little strips. I found cutting it while it's on its back was a little bit easier to cut through the skin. And then we're just going to take them and dice them up into little cubes. Next I'm going to take a red onion, cut the ends off, and then cut it right down the middle. I'm only going to use half of the onion for this, so just peel the outer layer off. Now I'm going to dice this onion, and the easiest way to do it is by placing your hand on top, cutting a couple slits in it, and then cutting slits from the top down, and then voila, you have diced onions. Now we're going to dice the rest of this up, I just don't have a special way of doing that. If I can ever get the onions stacked on each other properly. Alright, next we're going to smash this garlic. We just need one clove of it. We're just going to cut the ends off of this and then smash it like we did previously and peel it. I then sliced it and then finished it off by mincing it. Next I'm going to take my pot and my bag of kidney beans. I'm just going to add some water to them for now and rinse them off. Make sure they're all good and clean. After that we're going to put the beans on the stove and let them boil for 3 minutes. Drain them. And repeat that last step one more time. After that we're going to put the beans in a bowl and set them aside. Next we're going to melt a little bit of butter and then add our onions and bell peppers. Sweat them until they're translucent and then add the garlic. You'll cook the garlic just until it's aromatic. Remove everything from the heat and then add your beans. Half a bay leaf. And I started out with 8 cups of water. You'll definitely have to add more through the simmering process. It's just up to you to watch. Return your pot back to the stove and add salt, pepper, and a half of a teaspoon of onion powder. Now simmer until they're done. Mine took about three hours total. Now to make the cornbread, I started off with one cup of yellow cornmeal. Two teaspoons of baking powder. three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of shortening that will have to be melted, go ahead and check on them beans. And we're going to preheat the oven to 425 before we even finish making the cornbread mix because I'm not consistent. Back to this now, we're going to mix up all our dry ingredients before adding the wet ones. 3 fourths a cup of milk. One egg and your previously melted shortening. Mix all of that stuff together. The batter came out a little thin, so I ended up adding about an eighth of a cup more of yellow cornmeal. Much better. Just gonna scrape our sides a little bit. Let's grease up this baking dish. I used Pam, you can use that or oil. Dump 
dump the mix in and smooth it out. Now we're going to put the cornbread in our nicely preheated oven. Set the timer for 25 minutes. Ta-da! Now to cut your cornbread. You can cut it any way you'd like. I did little squares, but you can make all kinds of different shapes. Do whatever your heart desires. Our beans have been simmering for about three hours now and they're pretty tender. So to finish them off, I'm just gonna take some cilantro, pull off its leaves, and then mince it up. Throw it in the pot and then just let it simmer a couple more minutes. Time to eat. Let's start by getting our cornbread. Ugh, I can't wait. Boom, there it is. Finished with just a pinch of cilantro. And there you have it, bread, kidney beans, and cornbread. And there you guys have it. I thought those beans turned out pretty well. I have the list of ingredients that I use down below in the description box. Let me know what you thought if you tried this recipe, if you like it. Uh, also, if you have anything that you want me to make, leave me a comment below and then we'll give it a shot. Thanks. See you on Wednesday.